Hi guys and girls and welcome back to another video. In this video I'm going to be showing you what I have done with my game from Make a Game for Free Challenge this week. In the last episode I asked you guys to help me make this game area uh, look better and feel more alive. In the last video a person named iGame3D commented and said Put the arena in a valley, crevice, mountain forest, a uh, terrible type location to make walls for your arenas. Can still be on floating island, you just don't want to fall off. And add maybe some particle vor vortex to pass between arenas, or if you just want one arena, have any open exit area blocked by fire or a frost giant or dragon or iron bars with skulls, your fence totally missing some skulls. Thank you iGame3D for the advice, I definitely listened and he also linked a acid pack from the acid store, uh, it's a nature kit. So it was kind of a reference uh, reference to what kind of uh, assets I should add. If you look at the island right here, you're gonna notice that this area has changed a lot. I removed the fence and uh, because it just it didn't look good. And uh, I also replaced the island and now you can fall off the island. I made it so you can fall off the island and added a collider. Um, I had the collider uh, like down from the island so when you fall you trigger the collider and you die. I made that with the death drop script. If I open it and show you very quickly, you can see I uh, made two variables for a player and a box collider and then assign the values here and then called void on trigger enter collider box collider which is the collider. The, 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 the death drop actually and then it just sets the health to zero and sets is dead to true and also as you can see I added some trees which uh, definitely made the area look much better um, I very uh, I like them a lot maybe I should add uh, more types of trees I just have two of them here that's definitely something I need to do for the next time for next time I also added these ruins which I don't know I just like them a lot also, I added towers, I added two towers, and this one is kind of hanging off the island, which I think is very, very good, and uh, I don't know, it's it's kind of, it's cool. Also, I added this one and added some walls to it, so it makes it seem like uh, this is actually like a battlefield where, where bat battles are fought. One, another big thing I added is uh, another, a whole another island, and I had this kind of bridge that is blocked off uh, with fire. This island, I could use it for maybe like special events, so like every 10 to 15 levels, I could uh, spawn a portal in, the, in, the, in this uh, island, and then player can walk through it and go to this island, and then there would be like a special boss or uh, something special happening here. And on this island, I created this uh, little shrine, which I don't know, but it, it definitely like... A cool thing to have in in this forest and the forest is not dense yet that's uh, because I have to add some bushes or grass still if I go to my player you can see that I added some graphics to him and I made this in blender it took me a bit to kind of get the shape of the of the guy uh, because I wanted this kind of uh, big mus muscular dude to, to be the player and I definitely I think I achieved that look uh, it's definitely not the best model definitely uh, I still haven't painted the texture on it I just uh, put this kind of skin color on him and I made the um, ambient occlusion map but I don't think it looks too bad at all if we cl click play here you can see that I have animations for the character I don't know if you can see it, but uh, he's now in the idle state um, it's it's kind of hard to see and if we move It's a run animation. It's a very bad run anima animation. I know but uh, I haven't done much animating at all ever and this is kind of a thing I got so it definitely looks I Don't know. He doesn't look nice. It's kind of weird I'm definitely gonna fix that and another thing I changed about the game is now you c you don't move with W a, S, and D keys, you just move with W key, 
and then you use your mouse to point where you want to go. I also had one big problem with this. Uh, since I added the trees um, and stuff, a bigger stuff, bigger stuff that can block your camera, um, I think that will happen is I will walk here maybe, and then I would point point here, and it would walk to the tree because the ray cast would hit the the tree collider, and then it would it would move there, and maybe not uh, not where I wanted to. What I did, I created a game object and I added a collider to it, and then I made. Uh, I made the ray casts ignore every other collider but the, the the empty game object one so if I I'll show you actually uh, so here's the uh, here's the ray cast area so ray cast will only hit this uh, collider and they won't hit anything else so now I got this uh, clean rotation and it can be it can be blocked um, by any trees or anything. So that is all I did this week. Uh, I know not much, but uh, I had a lot of exams this week. Hopefully next week it'll be better. Um, I'm thinking about adding some more animations for attacking and stuff, and maybe adding some uh, enemy um, enemy models and something like that. If you have any suggestions, uh, what I could do to make the game better. And what I could do maybe to make this look even better. Uh, definitely leave the comment down below. And uh, yeah. Hopefully I'll see you next time. Leave a like. Subscribe. And go follow me on my social media. There's everything in the description. Bye bye.